Hey, I'm John Tempesta. I'm here to talk to you today about the new Thomas V Cobra pedal. I'm totally digging these pedals. I just took them on tour of the Europe with the Cult. I, I fell in love with them. Um, I play very heavy, heavy footed, and I never had one problem. I do love the Olayan Cobras, but for me, playing this lately, it's just a step up and I just a lot faster on it. A great feature about the Speed Cobra pedal is the longboard, which I never played before, so it's different for me, and uh, I really felt it help out my playing a lot, where I could actually bring my, my foot down to the bottom of the pedal, playing heel down with more control, or if I want to get more power, come up on the pedal itself, playing heel up, so I could really lay into it. Um, there's a new spring on here, which is great. It's a bit tighter and quicker. And what I noticed, I could really crank it up t as tight as I want and really get the speed and power out of it itself. And the great thing is you got the Cobra coil, which is underneath the footboard. So when you slam down the pedal, it bounces back. It has a nice kickback. Another thing I like about the Speed Cobra pedal is the new design of the beater. It's hard felt shape, sort of like an acorn, and it gives you a lot of attack and punch of the bass drum sound. The thing about the Speed Cobra pedal, it's true to the original Iron Cobra form, where you could adjust the beater, bringing it back and forth, or the pedal board, bringing it higher or lower. Um, the, you know, the spring adjustments, I, I really felt like they stepped it up a bit more with the feel, the lightness of the pedal with the long board, so it's working great for me. 